Aloha and welcome to Paradise Hawaiian Style. I'm hanging out here in our 57 Chevy, or as much of a 57 Chevy that we can actually afford. It's the back end of a 57 Chevy made into a couch. It's actually very comfortable and quite nice. Now, if you're a Seinfeld fan, you might recognize a similar couch in Kramer's apartment, Jerry's neighbor. Back in the day, this part here popped open because that's where the gas cap was. So it would flip open and you fill up the gas right there. This car does not do that, so don't try it because everybody has and it's getting a little wobbly. All right, guys, there's a wide view of our 57 Chevy with Elvis surfing in the background. It's a great shot of him from Blue Hawaii. Let's take a closer look at the 57. Really cool. Now, if you scroll through our Facebook page, you'll see a lot of people post pictures of themselves here in this seat. All right, guys, while I was making my last video, somebody noticed the Bruno Mars in the background. Yeah, that's actually Bruno Mars and pictures from his famous Playboy shoot and mixed in with pictures of him here at Rock Island Cafe. That's him sitting on our car seat. We'll go and visit that in a minute. That's him as a young Elvis impersonator. That's him on the cover of the Playboy magazine, one of the only guys to ever actually be on the cover of a Playboy magazine. That's an inside shot. And there is Bruno around our door. The Rock Island Cafe door. That's Bruno Mars. Now, we actually have some other Elvis-related celebrities around the car as well. Here are some of Elvis's backup singers. George Klein, one of Elvis's old friends from high school that was a DJ. These are Elvis related celebrities that have been into Rock Island Cafe. And of course Elvis at the Aloha concert. Here are some of the girls from his movies. This is Elvis and James Burton. And that's James Burton at Rock Island Cafe. James Burton's actually a real famous guitar player. He's done a lot more than play for Elvis. And then another one of Elvis's co-stars. All right, guys, I'm back, sitting at the 57 Chevy. I wanted to sit here one more time because I wanted to sit in the exact same spot that someone very famous sat in. No, not Elvis, we haven't been around that long, but Bruno Mars, yes, you saw his picture. And I wanted to show you the actual picture of him sitting in this seat. That's him there, Bruno Mars, sitting in our car seat. That was a couple of summers ago. Now, you might notice that Bruno's holding another picture of himself as the littlest, youngest Elvis impersonator. Yes, Bruno Mars was an Elvis impersonator back when he was a little guy. Now, right now he's got a lot of swagger and putting out some great songs, but a lot of his roots come from Elvis. And you can see he's an Elvis fan, let's see. This is him here as a little Elvis. Anyways, Bruno Mars was a big Elvis fan and he came and hung out at Rock Island Cafe for a while, a couple summers ago, and we were glad to have him. I think we have some footage of when he was actually here. Uh You're watching Hawaii News Now, Sunrise. Gene Gelfo owns uh, Rock Island Cafe down in Waikiki. His son is one of the managers, and he was in when Bruno Mars stopped by last week. Yeah, it was a real nice surprise. It was just a regular day. It was actually part of the July 4th uh, uh, week celebration there, and we had a lot of people from RIM packing everything in, and then all of a sudden uh, Bruno comes in with his girlfriend and another friend, and, and they came in and looked around. I guess uh, Bruno's a real big uh, Elvis fan from growing up here in the islands and his father and doing an Elvis tribute himself when he was a young guy. So we have a, a big collection of new and old memorabilia for Elvis Presley. And so somehow he got wind of that, came in and checked our place out. And um, well, I think he had a real nice sort of nostalgic time, sat down, had some milkshake and fries, was looking at a lot of our memorabilia. So just like a regular customer talking store with everybody? Yeah, it was three of them. They were very friendly and approachable. He had glasses on and a hat and stuff. We went up to him and said, uh, said hello, and he, he confirmed that it was indeed him. And So he was in at least a couple of times. Huh? I don't know for sure, but I think he was staying in Waikiki. Key, obviously. So and we're right in the middle of Waikiki um, behind the High Regency Hotel in the King's Village Shopping Center. So I think he was staying right around there. And um, yeah, I think he liked our milkshakes, came in and um, yeah. 
So, uh, once again, Bruno Mars having a nice time popping into Waikiki while he's touring and doing everything else around the world. Mm -hmm. He also gave them some pub, right? He tweeted about it. He Next did. time you're in Hawaii, go by and grab he a milkshake. Did. And you see that do? It's not the pompadour yeah. we're used to seeing for him. Yeah, so, you know, I'm kind of on the DL a little bit, mm -hmm. you know? So really nice. Hey. Now, Bruno's a big Elvis fan, so it was only natural that he should come to Rock Island Cafe. He came, he sat here, took some great pictures, but he also hung out for a while. He had some milkshakes with some friends of his and some french fries and he bought some of our Elvis memorabilia. He bought these really great posters that we used to have. Now we have some prints of them still available for sale, but he bought the originals. They are Elvis posters that were commissioned by local artists to hang in the movie theaters. Now, back in the day in the 50s and 60s, they didn't send movie posters over with the giant reels of film when they were playing the Elvis movies at the movie theaters. So what they did was is they commissioned local artists to recreate the movie posters as paintings. Jack LaSalle was someone who was very famous for doing that. We were lucky enough a couple years ago to get some of these actual paintings that had the movie theaters in Hawaii that they actually hung in, written on the back. The posters were really cool. I think I have another one I can show you, or a print of one of them. And you can see that it's a really great painting. And then there's a couple of publicity stills sort of mixed in with the actual painting parts. All right, guys, here's a print of the Elvis poster that I was talking about. This was done by Jack LaSalle, famous local artist that recreated Elvis movie posters to hang in local movie theaters in replacement of, instead of, the actual posters. This is actually a photograph of the painting, but this is one of his best pieces of work. The Elvis's face is one of the best ones we have. This is an actual publicity still that they put into or attached to the poster. This now belongs to Bruno Mars. I'm glad he got it because he's an Elvis fan. As you can tell, the influence Elvis has made on Bruno's career. Another great view of the 57 Chevy. I like to take people's pictures from this angle because you get to see the side of it and the words Bel Air. All right, guys, that's all we got for you today. Thanks for joining us. Like us, comment down below. Let me know what you like, what other fun stuff you want to know about, and we'll make another video for you real soon. But in the meanwhile, aloha!